it's Louise Fay for VIP Boxing and I am sat here with Adam Reichard. Adam, thank you for being patient with me. Um, I know you boxed a little while ago and uh, the team are trying to get off. Um, but we're here, we got the win. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good. See you, I'm, see you, later. See you guys. Um, yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, I'm happy to get this for my first six round run under my belt. Um, obviously, a little bit frustrated not to like, maybe take him out of there. I think it's ready to come in, but it wasn't the beating night. I boxed a very tough journeyman who was a lot, two or three weight divisions heavier than us anyway. Um, but solid rounds, I stayed disciplined, and my coach is happy. So if my coach is happy, I've done something right. Absolutely, and and at this point of the of the game, uh, we wanted to get rounds in the bank, don't we? We want to be learning. We want to be able to take something away from each fight. Um, and Jake Osgood, just as you said, there, experienced opponent. He's been in there, and he knows how to survive. He knows how to make it awkward. He knows how to make it difficult. But you stuck to your boxing. Yeah, that was it. I mean. Like I stuck to the boxing the full way through and it was disciplined performance because I feel as if um he Jake Osgood, I'm gonna give him a bit of compliment compliments there because I think like he, if he wanted to you could tell by himself he could be better than a journeyman. He could tell. He he, he was he was he was looking, he was fainting, he sh he never was out of shape. No. Um but I just had to stick me boxing. I, I, I was actually half cautious of thinking like what might come back here and I and I boxed well. I, I did box well in spells, but um, he, did, he he stuck to his game plan. Didn't really give me many openings. Yeah. Um. So that's probably why the clean punches and the the knockouts and the power didn't really come. But six valuable rounds. Six I've never done before. So absolutely. And th and this is what you want, isn't it? You know, even if you've got a fourth round stoppage, you've not actually achieved anything because you've still not ex experienced the full six rounds. And you've got that. And and you and you came out of there, looked like you could do another couple. To be honest. Yeah, I feel like. I remember in about round four, I think I sat down. I thought, "Oh, this is a bit longer than a four rounder." And then by like round, <laughs> by the end of round five, I sort of got a bit of a second wind again, and then that box yeah. me boxing. What I felt, I felt like it was because he was a lot heavier than me. Um, what not I could normally do it with a nine stone nine boys. I couldn't really do it. He was he was weighed in ten stone ten night. He'd have probably been in the ring about eleven stone tonight. I and I couldn't move them about like I could the nine stone nine boys. Yeah. So, so we're talking nearly a stone that you've yeah. given away, really. Well, we, we knew it was going to be ten stone two, um, one four two pounds, and I was that I was on weight yesterday. Yeah. And then got a phone call. You need to be one four six now. So it was like put on four pound. So I put I weighed in one four five today. I had a good feed up this morning on that. Um, and then I wondered where those bags of pound coins are <laughs> <that. laughs> in the bottom of your boots. <laughs> and then you come in at ten stone ten. So it was like. It was eight pound over the agreed weight, but listen, I mean, I, I kind of knock them without people like without people like Jake in the sport doing what he's doing. We wouldn't have the platform to try and be prospects and come on in our career. So fair play with me. He was a very tough lad, and it was really nice that you you, you kind of give him the props there in, in 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 like you just said, sticking to form, staying in shape, dropping the little things, yeah, yeah, just yeah. making you, you have a little look, thinking. making yeah. you yes, you had to stay switched on. Yeah, I think we've always said we want. Better opponents because I, th I feel as if the better opponent, the better Adam Ray charge you'll see. Yeah. And I think like in spells tonight, you're seeing glimpses of what I can do. Um, so on a whole, I am pretty happy, but sometimes I'm, I'm not fully satisfied. I'm my own biggest critic at times. And if you can't be your own biggest critic, who can be? <laughs> I think you can beat yourself up, but if your coach is happy and I know that he is happy, yeah, no then you've got to take that as a win. No, listen, yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting back down and uh, maybe... The, 10 stone and below because I was fighting that well at weight night and um, had the bigger gloves on could tell a little bit of the difference between eight and tens and yeah I would like um I would like to get back down and not, like 10 stone and pushing down and lightweight at nine stone nine that's where my goal's going to be eventually not fighting 11 stone lads do you know what I mean yeah and I mean sizably you could see the difference yeah. uh between between the two of you could you feel that when you're landing those shots did you feel like they were being absorbed that little bit yeah. more I feel as if like every his frame was bigger, so there wasn't as many gaps to get through. Everything was bouncing off arms. Hands. Yeah. And then when I tried to get a bit closer and have a go, I couldn't manoeuvre him about the ring like I could them nine and a half stone lads. Yeah. He was like, it was a bit. I started taking <laughs> my own energy off trying to fight with him. So that's why in round five and six it was just get back to your boxing at him. And I, and I think I made five and six probably the easiest two rounds. Yeah. By just getting back on my range. Like he's, I've just been in the, this change room. And then he literally just I'm just re, re, um, repeating what he said as well. He said that. Five and six, he couldn't compete at all. And, you know, this is what I love about these guys in Jay Cosgood, your Fonz Alexanders, um, the veterans of the game. They will sit down and they'll spend that time 
say, telling you what you did well, what you could do better. Um, and I love to see that experience been shared and that, that mutual respect. Yeah, no, listen, as I say, I take my hat off to him. I mean, fair play what he does, fighting every other week. And, um, I think he's, that was his 45th or something in there tonight, and he's probably a bit older than me, and he's definitely... He's definitely, he was definitely heavier than me, so I know he's been in with a few good lads. He, he hasn't been stopped many times. I think only on one hand that could probably count. Um, that was it, that would have been his forty sixth loss. Forty sixth loss out of forty seven fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he knows what he's doing, and um, it was good round. But listen, it was good rounds. As I say, he was probably better than he's a, he's a lot better than his record suggests. Obviously, he knows what he's doing. I, th I, I do almost feel like. He could probably step it up a little bit. He he could beat a lot of prospects if he wanted to, probably. Like by just like letting his hands go a bit more. Yeah. But well, listen, I think he just he knows what he's doing. And it's the ticket sales, isn't it? And I think that's often a a, a reason for a lot of um you know, decent level opponents going on the road. Um I mean I don't know what his story was at the beginning of of, of, of his time, but um yeah. Everyone's got a chance. Yeah, really good. just sent me down the chair. He says, Oh, I love it, mate. I'm out next week. He loves the thrill of getting in the ring. I mean I love it as well, but I couldn't sell 150 much. tickets every week. <laughs> and, and this yeah. is it, yeah. So at the time, I'd have to go on the road as well. <laughs> and then, listen, I'm here to build a career and a future, and, and I want to make a, do it the right way. I'm not saying it's the wrong way to do it the way he's doing it, but I want to do it the prospect way and try and yeah. climb the ladder. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we talk about that ladder then. What does the rest of this year look like for you? Well, obviously, I've had two already. Um, yes, because you were year. out in our Blackpool, Blackpool show. So, you had a little yeah. away so, day, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I've, I've had. I've been in back-to-back -back camps. I feel like I've been in camps since the first week of January. So it's been a long one. Um, we've got, there's nothing actually in the pipeline, just speaking to Steve there, but he, until October where yes, we're back right. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he did see it. Obviously, that's about six months away, five months away. He says he is going to get me back out in between. Maybe we're looking for maybe September or hope, I would hopefully like to get one maybe in July, July or something. Yeah. Like I, yeah. Um, I want, I just want fights, whether that's four or five fights. And then hopefully this time next year, I'll be sitting here eight, nine fights deep. And maybe that'll be me headliner for a British, um, not British, but the other Northern Area title. Northern Area title. That'll be hopefully me this time next year. See you believe and achieve it, don't you? One hundred percent. That's you've got to have the goals, yeah. haven't you? Um, and like you say, that, that's his ninth fight there for Tommy Hodgson, yeah, uh, and you've got that Northern extra. Area title fight, and yeah. it sounds like a barnstormer. I think we've got maybe two or three rounds left to go. Yeah. Um, so we can just hear it in the background, and with that, mate. I am going to let you go Thank and you. congratulate you. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Cheers. Adam Reichard. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, Amateur and Pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.